Hi there, my name's Sarah, and this video will just be a quick intro to rulers in Clip Studio Paint. I'm just covering the basics here, but I'll do more in-depth videos on the different ruler types soon. Click on the Ruler tool. A ruler is an object you can place on your canvas to help guide you as you draw, and as you can see, there's a lot of types. With the Linear Ruler subtool selected, click and drag on the canvas to form a line. For this demonstration, I've changed the ruler colors so they show up better. Yours will look a lot fainter. I'll show you how to do that in a future video. When you make a ruler, it's attached to a layer. Layers with rulers attached will display this triangular ruler icon. If Create at Editing Layer is checked, it will be created on the layer you currently have selected. If not, a new layer will be created. When I go to my pen tool and start drawing somewhere near the ruler, my pen snaps to it and follows it exactly. If you're not near the ruler, you can draw as normal. If your drawing tool isn't snapping to the ruler, open its Subtool Detail palette by clicking the wrench icon here. Go to Correction, and tick the Enable Snapping box. Any tool that has this option available can be snapped to rulers and guides, including drawing tools, erasers, selection tools, even other rulers. The first four ruler types on the list, Linear, Curve, Figure, and Ruler Pen, all work the same way. You draw a shape, and your drawing tool snaps to it. I'll cover them all in more detail in a later video. Guides are also similar, but they can only be horizontal or vertical, and cover the entire length or width of your canvas automatically. Your tools will still snap if you get close to them. Right-click directly on the ruler icon and uncheck Show Ruler to hide all rulers on this layer. Your drawing tools will not snap to hidden rulers. I'll repeat that to toggle the rulers back on. If I make a new layer, the rulers disappear too. By default, they're only visible when you have their layer selected. Right-click on the ruler icon and select Show in all layers. Now the rulers will be visible and active no matter what layer you're on. Note that there's also an option to only show them for layers within the same folder. A ruler is an object, so to adjust it, go to the Operation tool and make sure the Object subtool is selected. Click directly on a ruler to select it. Now you can move, rotate, and resize the ruler, as well as move the control points. You can also uncheck the Snap option, which changes the color. You can still see the ruler, but the drawing tools will no longer snap to it. When you select the Move Layer tool, the rulers will move as well. If you don't want them to, right-click on the ruler icon and deselect Link Ruler to Layer. If you noticed, the guides didn't move even when the rulers were linked to the layer. Guides have a separate option called Link Guide to Ruler, which is off by default. Note that both options have to be on for guides to move with the layer. You may have noticed that you can have multiple rulers on a single layer. To delete a single ruler, select it with the Object Subtool, and click the Delete button on your keyboard. If you have a ruler selected, right-clicking on the ruler icon and selecting Delete Ruler will do the same thing. If you don't have anything selected, using the Delete Ruler option will delete all rulers and remove the icon from that layer. I'm going to dedicate full videos to the really cool specialty rulers I haven't talked about yet, but here's a quick preview of what they can do. You can draw parallel lines, concentric circles, and more with the Special Ruler subtool. Perspective rulers allow you to set up guides for one, two, and three-point perspectives, as well as the new fisheye feature. The symmetrical ruler is my favorite, and that's the one I'm dedicating my next video in this series to. Stay tuned! 
as you can see, there's a lot you can do with rulers in Clip Studio Paint. I hope I got you excited to try them out. Tag me at Miss Red Nebula on socials and show me your art. I'll see you soon. A big thank you to all of my patrons, with a special shout out to Novatier patron Joe C. Phipps. Check out my Patreon if you'd like to help support future content like this. 